Investigators have been combing through the concert grounds, retracing Stephen Paddock's movements, inspecting his hotel room, and honing in on who else may have been working with him. He had to have some help at some point. The 64 year old had accumulated 33 weapons in the past year from various gun stores in Nevada, California, Texas, and Utah. Stephen Paddock is a man who spent decades acquiring weapons and ammo and living a secret life. Police are beginning to unravel some of those secrets. We've learned Paddock may have been scouting venues like Fenway Park in Boston and major music events like Lollapalooza in Chicago. A Stephen Paddock booked two rooms in August at Chicago's Blackstone Hotel in an area that would have given him a clear view of the outdoor festival, but he never showed. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel said his city's marathon this weekend will go on with unprecedented security. Because it is the right thing to do and people it will not only be rewarding for athlete and audience alike, it will be setting records and we're going to show what we're made of. Countless people at that country music festival in Las Vegas Sunday showed their own true colors by saving strangers. On Thursday, Justin Uhart and Jan Lamborn hugged in a hospital room. There she is. Oh. Hey. How are you doing? The brave bartender stayed at the Canadian woman's side after she was shot in the stomach. I promised. I just promised I wouldn't leave. But if it wasn't for him, I would not be here. Authorities have been speaking with Paddock's girlfriend since yesterday. Mary Lou Danley said she thought when he flew her to the Philippines and then sent tens of thousands of dollars for a new house that he was trying to break up with her. She claims it never occurred to her that Paddock was planning such a violent attack.